Hi guys, and happy Saturday. I hope you're having a magical, magical Saturday. Today, um, we did Oktoberfest, and uh, it was very fun, but they promised the weather people promised a perfect weather day, uh, high 60s and sunny. And lo and behold, it was cloudy all day, all day. It was cloudy all day, and it was misting with rain, and but we were under the big umbrella, so we had our Oktoberfest anyway. And I'll put some pictures of the food here. It was very fun, very good, and uh, very filling. Cooked a lot, cooked from this morning. Uh, very tired, but you know what? Four more work days to vacation. Four more work days, yay. And uh, I had a pretty fun week. The week went very fast, it went very fast. The work week went fast, so. I hope that uh, next week does too, and we know vacation will go fast. It always does, and that's not fair. <laughs> that is just not fair. All right, so in the background, we are listening to the Ravi Shankar collection, Ragas and Talas. I might have it a little bit loud. I'm not sure, but, you know, at this point, I'm, I'm just burnt out, so... <laughs> it is what it is. I'm sure you can hear me anyway. Beautiful stuff. Love it. I cooked to it. Uh, and now I'm playing it again. Um, yesterday? Maybe yesterday or the day before, I got the new Knox auction catalog. Uh, this is auction 64. And it is always always a great pleasure to get this. There's a lot of children's and a lot of Christmas in this one, so I'm really excited about this auction. This one ends on November 4th. Uh, maybe I should turn down the music a little bit in case it distracts you. I know, some people don't mind, and some people it totally distracts them, so turn down a little bit. Yeah, so um, this one ends November 4th, the bidding ends November 4th, and uh, if you aren't on the mailing list and you didn't get your catalog, uh, you can go online and look at the listings, uh, 78rpm.com. 78 awesome, awesome stuff. But the most exciting thing of all about this um, auction catalog is uh, Kurt included the Knox Bitter Request Show, the 25th anniversary celebration, greatest hits. Look at that. Now, I was listening to this in the car earlier this morning, and it is, as always, amazing. Just amazing. So, if you're lucky enough to be on the mailing list for the auction catalog, you, you got one of these this time. Very, very fun. Very fun. Sometimes he sends great bumper stickers, or um, another time he sent this magnet. I don't, oh, you can't see it. He sent this beautiful Knox magnet. Really, really fun. And this... Bitter's Request Show is so fun because there's commentary. There's an intro and there's commentary and there's a um, 
closing by Kurt Nock himself, and it's really, really fun. I, I absolutely, uh, absolutely loved it. All right, I am wearing my crown today because I had um, a wicked thrift week. I had a really fun thrift week, and uh, once in a while I find um, spectacular things, and this week was one of those weeks. I really found some cool things. And uh, all right, so one night I found um, this beautiful uh, Krishna plaque. I love this. I hung it by the altar with all the other uh, fabulous spiritual things that I have on there. It's really a beautiful thing. I chose not to make this fence art because it has like a cardboard backing and it would not survive out there. And it is just so beautiful. I flipped out over that. And what's so cool is like their, their pearl necklaces and the flute are like 3D. So that's really good. They're really, you know, see that? Very, very cool. Um, that same night I found this. This is what inspired Oktoberfest for me. And this is a Steinbach um, nutcracker, of course, but he's a nutcracker and a music box. And he is just amazingly beautiful. He's actually the Swiss man. The Swiss man. He's um, atop the Matterhorn, and the Swiss flag is here. And it says, ho la ho It's just such a beautiful thing. And there are two. Swiss Movement music boxes in here. Now, um, I looked him up, of course, uh, when I brought him home. I knew, I, you know, I know Steinbach, obviously. I, I know they're smokers and I know they're um, nutcrackers, but he drew me to him right away because of his size. He's massive. Look at that. And the music boxes. And you know that I love music boxes. Um, online, he's. Uh, he was priced at three hundred and ninety-four dollars, and um, uh, should he is missing. Mine is missing a um, the Swiss flag, which goes right here in his hand, and this hand would have held uh, a cowbell uh, with the fancy little leather strap. You know what I mean? Those um, Tyrolean type of or alpine type of cowbells. So one hand would have had that and the flag would have been over here. And um, those are missing on him because of course the thrift, you know, they lose everything. And um, so what I did was put his key in there. <laughs> you can hold his key like that. But his two music boxes are here and they play. They're German. Uh, the titles are in, in Swiss, which is actually German. Uh, German titles here, so I'm not, and I'm not really familiar with the tunes that he plays, but I guess they're famous um, Swiss tunes, whatever. But really beautiful. That's the one music box, and here's the other. I love him. Loved him instantly, and um, he's just big and, and you know typically Steinbach, all wood. He's got these fabulous um, mountain climbing shoes. You have the Matterhorn here. You can see the music boxes in the little glass thing there. It is just a beautiful thing, and he's got of course uh, like Idelweiss or something over here. Just a beautiful, beautiful nutcracker music box. And you know how I love music boxes. So I was really thrilled with that. Really thrilled. I don't mind that he's missing his flag or his bell uh, because I can put anything in his hand. I can make him something for this. I can put a Bavarian pretzel 
on a stick and put it here in his hand. <laughs> you know what I mean? Any fun thing at all, but he is beautiful. And he was the mascot for Oktoberfest today. So, uh, for Oktoberfest, I was drinking today uh, Dab uh, Dortmunder Export. Uh, this is the Collector's Edition draft flavor 150 years of dab so really really fun this side is really pretty also very very fun dab is a delicious beer and four pints four pint sized cans are only like four dollars and 69 cents you can't beat that for a really good beer and it is a really good beer Okay, this morning I went to the thrift and I found some puppets. You know, I love puppets. I have a, a huge collection of puppets. I love marionettes especially, but I do love hand puppets too. And I think my love for hand puppets came from Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. All those puppets were hand puppets and they were so amazing. And um, today I found these. These are really weird because they were sold as a pair they don't make sense as a pair to me I only I really wanted the the devil I wanted the devil puppet but he was paired with this uh, old lady this crazy old lady thing um, they don't really go together but I usually like the creepiest of creepy puppets so I like the uh, devil but I like I wouldn't I wouldn't probably wouldn't have gone for this one if she was by herself maybe I would I, you know I can't really say but she could be creepy as well because uh, the girl at the counter was saying oh maybe they're a couple I said well maybe she sold her soul to him <laughs> you never know right but yeah she's kind of creepy she almost has a um uh I don't know she's got very high cheekbones and I don't know, very strange. She could be a little bit, I guess, witchy or something. But she does look kind of sweet. So, I don't know. But as a pair, that was kind of fun. Kind of weird that they were made a pair, right? But hey, it's okay, because I got this great devil. Love it. Alright. Um, I got this. So cool. This is um, a Hilfiger. Tommy Hilfiger uh, purse. But what I liked about it um, I, I'm not, you know, I'm not a label collector or anything like that. I don't care about any of that. But the reason I was drawn to this bag was because it's Venice. Look at that. It's Venice. And I love the colors. I love the green uh, around. And I love the art on the bag. And, of course, it's Venice. And it's one of these vintage look um, snap top bags. And it has a really clean lining. Like someone only used this once or very, very sparingly. Really a beautiful bag. Loving that. Love the the handle. It's all braided. But I do love the Venice uh, scene on there. Really, really fun. Very cool. And the reason I'm wearing my surf crown, not only because I found this beautiful Steinbach, but because today I found an Iowa, a mint Iowa CD player. It's a player uh, writer, absolutely mint. Looks like it was never ever used. If it was used, it was kept in a box because there was not a speck of dust on this thing. There was not a scratch or a blemish on it and there were no fingerprints anywhere on it. It was just, just remarkable and I hooked it up to my insignia and my uh, uh, I have Sony speakers over there the um, uh, with the uh, other audio technica not the good one uh, the good stuff is in the living room like I said and uh, those are hooked to a Bose and I have a TAC um, uh, preamp out there uh, but over here I have this Insignia, which is a really nice amp, and uh, so I hooked it up to that with my turntable, 
and the Sony speakers and what a sound. It is such a beautiful little piece and it's right here. Isn't that great? I was really, really thrilled with that. You know how much I paid for that? $10. 10 bucks, okay? Ridiculous. Um, I think when people see um, recordable or whatever, I, when they, they thought it was, maybe people thought it was a CD recorder only, that you can't play through it. I don't know, but I, I don't know why anybody would pass that by for 10 bucks in that condition, you know? Just an amazing thing. So I was pretty happy with that. And I was listening to all those 10 cent CDs on that um, this evening, you know, just before I came on. It was the, uh, at the West Craven that I got the other night. Oh my God. Nightmare. Oh, it was just great. Just really beautiful on there. Um, what else did I really love on there? Um, the Harry Potter was great. The sound quality is amazing. And the Sony speakers that I have over there are really good, really good, nice speakers that sound almost as good as my, uh, Bose. So, uh, I really, really love it. And I'm, I think it was like the score of the, of the month and it's only what? October 6th <laughs> but me and Raymond have a lot of thrifting to do so who knows what we're gonna find and this guy was a pretty damn good score too I really love him and the fact that he's a music box with two music boxes inside I love that so anyway guys I am a little tired burnt out the weather was horrible it was cold it was cold and it was cloudy and it was very damp. So, um, the only thing that kept me warm was the grill. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I got misted on, you know, misted on. So my hair is like a little bit wild and curly. And now it's raining even harder. Tomorrow it's supposed to be a lot hotter. Uh, this year has been the craziest weather year. And tomorrow's supposed to be hotter. Monday is supposed to rain, and then by the time our vacation comes next next week, I'm praying for really good weather. I especially want good weather for um, Yasker's Farm. We really need to have some nice weather um, for that trip because um, I think it would make a difference. And there should be some beautiful um, leaf leaves changing, autumn colors. It should be really beautiful. I read that there was a really excellent German butcher up there. So uh, if we can find the place, I, I want to stop in there and get some stuff. Get some, uh, maybe some duck sausage or something really cool for a future barbecue. Because we have barbecues until the weather is, you know, too, until it's actually too cold to sit outside. And most of October is usually pretty nice. Today was just cold. <laughs> it was just cold. Not fun at all. So anyway, guys, I think that's about it. I hope you are having a magical, mystical, musical Saturday. I hope you're gearing up for our vacation, too. <laughs> Not that you should be. I mean, you got to work. I'm going to be off. Whatever. But uh, I am truly gearing up for that. We're going to have so much fun. I pick up Raymond uh, at the airport on Tuesday. 
Tuesday, I believe is the 16th, and that's the day he's coming in. So we'll pick him up Tuesday, um, but I am off from starting Friday, so I'll be with you guys for the weekend, and then we'll pick up Raymond on Tuesday, and uh, we'll have some fun adventures, and just really just enjoy it. So that's it, guys. Love you all. I will talk to you very, very soon. Comment, subscribe, and uh, share the love. Love you so much. Mwah.